Welcome guys, this is F8, Audit and Assurance. My name, as you can see, is Martin Jones and I am um, a lecturer for the London School of Business and Finance here in London. So um, I teach uh, online, as you can see, and also in the classroom for the London School of Business and Finance, the LSBF. And we have uh, an interactive product uh, which works its way through the whole of F8 Audit and Assurance. Uh, what I've been asked to do is to uh, record some little mini videos, some key issues um, in little five minute slots. And the first of which, uh, hopefully you can see just there, is the subject of audit report content. Um, if you see me looking down, I'm looking down at a tablet laptop that I'm going to use to communicate with you. I'm going to write some stuff down on the uh, tablet laptop and it'll help me to talk to you about each of the key issues. So the first key issue I want to talk to you about, the key issue that I want to talk to you about in this recording is the audit report content. The examiner at F8 has shown an interest in dry, boring learning and questions that require you to regurgitate dry, boring learning. And a classic question is, what are the six things in an audit report? What is the content of the audit report? Six marks. And for that, you need a mnemonic. And I have a mnemonic for you. Here it is. So I'm just going to scroll this up and give you my little mnemonic, which is uh, boss. It's not a real word, of course. I quite like this style of mnemonic, where it's just uh, letters one after another. So uh, boss. Uh, boss is the mnemonic for the audit report. A is for address, I is for introduction, R is for responsibilities, B is for basis of opinion, O is for opinion, and S is for signature. So starting again at the top, A, address. The audit report is addressed to shareholders, of course. The introduction sounds an easy idea, doesn't it? But it's not all that easy. Financial statements are contained in um, a document known as the annual report. And roughly half of the annual report, half of the annual report is the financial statements. And the other half of the annual report is what's called the management commentary. And we as auditors, we only audit the financial statements. We don't audit the commentary. So in our introduction, we say we have audited the financial statements from pages 101 to 205. Okay? So the introduction is quite important. It specifically identifies the fact that we've only audited the financial statements. R for responsibilities. You've guessed, it's responsibilities, plural. Very, very briefly, we describe our responsibilities as auditor and the director's responsibilities as directors. It's their responsibility to draft the FS and it's our responsibility to audit the FS. B is the big paragraph called basis of opinion. Basis of opinion. It's a strange title, actually. I don't know why the um, International Auditing Standards Board came up with this phrase um, all those years ago when they used it in 1990 when this was invented. I don't think it's a particularly good phrase. Um, but basis of opinion is a little introduction to how audit is done. As I say, it's the biggest paragraph within the audit report, but it's still only about... Um, 
15 lines long. So it's quite short, even though it's the biggest paragraph, it's quite short. It's about 15 lines, which very quickly summarises how an audit is done. That's the basis of opinion. Opinion, you know what that is, don't you? That's the opinion. Very short paragraph, opinion. In my opinion, the FS, show a true and fair view. That's that one. And then S, is it signatures or signature? Signature. The auditor signs. The auditor signs. The reason I was asking that, by the way, is when it comes to the engagement letter, which is the contract between the auditor and the company, both parties sign. So it's signatures. But on an audit report, it's signature. The auditor signs. There you go. There is my key presentation on the subject of the audit report. So the audit report comes in six sections, um, as given by the mnemonic Airbus. At the top is the address. The audit report is addressed to shareholders. There's a little introduction which is necessary because the audit report goes in the annual report. The audit report goes in the annual report, but we only audit the FS and not the commentary. And we need to make that clear in the introduction. The responsibilities paragraph is very short. We just say that we did the audits and they prepared the FS. Directors prepare the FS and we audit the FS. The basis of a Opinion paragraph is the, the biggest paragraph, it's about 15 lines uh, that we use to give the shareholders an idea of roughly how audit works. The opinion paragraph, we state our opinion, yes, the FS show a true and fair view, and the signature is signature, so the um, audit engagement partner signs off to say that that's their opinion. There you go. That is the answer to the classic question, what is the context of the audit report? So that's the answer to the classic question, uh, audit report, content, six marks. Good luck.